Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's make a long-sleeved incline twist. This is a super easy design to do. I have the shirt turned inside out, and I'm gonna grab the shoulder of the shirt and just begin to twist. I'm gonna place the shirt down inside of my vinyl guttering and continue the twisting process. I'm not gonna tie it, so placing it inside the guttering is gonna help keep and hold the twist on the shirt. By the way, I have a couple different lengths of guttering, and this is gonna take one of the longer pieces of guttering. To keep the shirt from sliding down into the muck, which is the melting ice mixed with the dye, during the dyeing process, I'm going to take a piece of kite string, tie it to the end of the shirt, and then attach the kite string to the end of my piece of guttering with a metal clip. Now I'm gonna place the ice on the shirt. I am wanting to showcase the color splits in one of Dharma's zombie colors. So I wanna place the ice over the top of the shirt and then place the dye over the top of the ice. I think that allows the color splits to really shine and stand out. I still have my guttering laying flat on my table. I think it's a little easier to load on the ice and to press it down into the shirt when the guttering is laying flat. I'll have to adjust the ice a little bit when I put the shirt at an incline. To incline the shirt, I've placed one end of the vinyl guttering down inside of a plastic container and I have the other end of the vinyl guttering leaning up against the arm of a chair that I have outside. I'm going to place the die directly on top of the ice and I'm using Vintage Red from Dharma Trading Company. This was one of the zombie colors that was offered in October of 2022. They sold out pretty fast, but you can still get this color from a group called Facebook's Tie-Dye Supplies Marketplace. There are several people who purchase these special order colors in large quantities and then break them down into smaller quantities and sell them. Once I have the dye over the top of the ice, I'm gonna add a little bit of additional soda ash and then just leave the shirt alone and allow the ice to melt. I left the shirt alone and allowed it to process for about 24 to 36 hours after the ice melted. Then I took it to my utility sink and I started to rinse it. I took off the piece of kite string that was attached to the end and rinsed the shirt in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of rinsing for a long time, I usually just soak my shirts and to do that, I run either some really hot water in my utility sink or I use a plastic container of some sort. I'll add a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent to the water and just allow the shirt to soak. When the water cools off, I'll change it out and I continue that rinsing and soaking process until the water is almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Mm -hmm. 
Now that the shirt has been washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one is beautiful. I really love this color. I think it's just a really pretty color. It's primarily kind of like a burgundy-ish type color, but it does have, of course, various shades of pink in it, as well as some of the taupey beigey type color. There are a few darker spots, but for the most part, it's just a really pretty burgundy type color. I would be a little bit surprised by some of the colors that came out of this, like the taupes and kind of yellowy type colors, if I hadn't already done a shirt using the dusty rose. I mean, these were zombie colors, so I knew they chose colors to release as zombie colors that had a lot of good color splits. But when I did the Dusty Rose, I was really surprised by the colors that came out of that one. I've added a photo to kind of compare those two colors so you can see the difference in them. The Dusty Rose has a lot more kind of yellowy green colors that came out of it. Lighter colors than in this shirt. And the yellow has kind of got a like an olive type undertone to it. It's really pretty too. I know I've said this before, but I truly mean it. I really think that this design is great for showcasing different color splits in a color. The fact that the dye can flow all the way down the shirt without any obstructions, it just allows the different colors to split out and really showcases those colors. I mean, you can see from the shoulder of the shirt all the way down the shirt, the large streaks. So as it's streaking down the shirt, you can see where that beige just flows from the shoulder of the shirt to the hem of the shirt. And honestly, even though this design is so easy to do, I mean, literally you just twist the shirt. You don't even have to tie it. I really think that it makes a big impact. I was wearing one of the twist shirts that I had made to Costco the other day to get some more hoodies. And I had a woman stop me and tell me what a cool shirt that was. So maybe if you're a beginner or you just want something that really, really highlights the color splits out of a color, this is a good design to try. So obviously I love this shirt, but what do you guys think? Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you all have enjoyed watching me experiment with this new zombie color, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video. And if you're enjoying my content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.